we won $5 million in grant funding for the Department of Commerce in 2013, and they thought identity theft was a problem then. If you look at the data from 2010 until now, identity theft is up 267%. So whatever we're doing, it is not working. I mean, it's an unbelievable explosion in fraud. And I was listening to Phil Venables at Google Cloud talk about these fraud rings. He's the CISO of Google Cloud. And he said that some of their research shows that these fraud rings will reinvest up to 30% of their take into R&D. And so if you think about like top four, <laughs> better than like top quartile Silicon Valley, you know, which like 23, 24%. So they're, they're not content to just stop like for what they took during the pandemic. They're constantly innovating. What we're seeing with generative AI is this huge surge in fraud attacks that are, are really in two different flavors. You've got you've got the West African groups that are doing these scam attacks, primarily out of Lagos, Nigeria, and Accra and Ghana. And they've trained these large language models that are the cousins to evil cousins to Chat GPT for evil. You can buy subscriptions to these LLMs in the dark web, fraud GPT very simply named Worm GPT are, are two examples of it. And this takes the Nigerian Prince email to a completely new level where, you know, the, the grammar and the syntax is not obviously wrong and the whole premise is laughable. These are really deeply sophisticated real estate scams, cryptocurrency scams, job scams. In fact, young people are being victimized by social engineering at higher rates than older people. That's what the FTC data shows. That's what our data shows. 